Okay, so going through your music pieces now, we're doing detective first, I think. All right, so this is coming along really nicely. Um, we need to just get the different changes in the tempo. That means speed in music terms. Okay, so the beginning is fine. We said check your um, uh, speed with a metronome and it was absolutely fine. So the speed you're doing, just keep it nice and quiet, sort of very still. and fall ba, 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 in the right hand if you can now getting louder here so really give it a bit more sound then bar 12 it gets a bit quieter okay again see if you can put a little bit of up and down in the dynamic Dim means get quieter and rich means get slower. Okay, now don't rush from this bar. Do a break and then quite loud again. Then just a very short writ and then back up to speed again, but very quiet. As whisper as you can. Two, three, four and off. Okay, um, you're a little bit um, untidy when you play from eight to nine, so it might be worth just practicing that. Okay, it's not an easy transition from nine to ten, um, so it's worth just picking those two bars out and practicing them a few times. So, yep, yeah, so the first writ is quite long, it's two bars, and you're getting quieter as well as slower. Try not to rush into the next bar. The R tempo is back up to speed. But very soon it slows down again. But then it goes back to speed, but it must be quiet. Okay, hopefully you could just about hear that right hand A still hanging on. When you listen to this, really listen for that it is quite a bit of a musical effect which we want to produce on the piano 